दुर्भाग्य है कि मोदी सरकार देश के सबसे बड़े व्यापार को अक्षय तृतीया के एन मौके पर बेच रही है लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कॉर्पोरेशन जिसे उन्नीस में पंडित जवाहरलाल नेहरू सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल भारतीय राष्ट्रीय कांग्रेस ने संजोया था और फिर ब्रिक बाय ब्रिक एक एक ईंट एक एक रोड़े से बनाया था जो इस देश की मलकियत है साथियों एल का नारा है जिंदगी के साथ भी जिंदगी के बाद भी तो हम मोदी जी से पूछ रहे हैं फिर इतनी जल्दबाजी क्यों सच ये है कि माले मुफ्त दिलो बेरहम ये एक पुरानी इस देश की कहावत है दशकों से 140 करोड़ लोगों के खून पसीने की कमाई वह कर से खड़ी की गई कंपनियां और सार्वजनिक उपक्रम पब्लिक सेक्टर अंडरटेकिंग्स फायर सेल में मोदी जी बेच रहे हैं उनको दोनों हाथों से बेरहमी से लूटा रहे हैं और अब बारी आई है एल जैसी सर्वश्रेष्ठ और सबसे बड़ी कंपनी की इसका अवमूल्यन कैसे हो गया दो महीने में ही देश की सबसे बड़ी संस्था जिसमें 30 करोड़ देशवासियों का हिस्सा है 30 करोड़ देशवासियों का अगर एक परिवार में आप चार सदस्य मान लें तो 120 करोड़ देशवासी हो गए एवरेज मैंने औसत लगाई है 30 करोड़ पॉलिसी होल्डर्स हैं तो अगर एक परिवार में चार सदस्य मान लें तो आप यू आर लुकिंग एट 120 करोड़ पीपल ऑफ इंडिया गेटिंग डायरेक्टली अफेक्टेड टू पुट इट वेरी वेरी ब्रीफली इन इंग्लिश माय फ्रेंड्स Why confidence and trust of 30 crore LIC policy holders is being valued at is being undervalued at much less than the market value of life insurance corporation We all know that LIC was founded on 1st September 1956 by pandit jawahar lal nehru by sardar vallabh bhai patel by the then congress government and has been built brick by brick as india's biggest company it is an insurance giant and a crown jewel on 4th of may 2022 that is tomorrow right on the eve of akshay tritiya which is supposed to be the day when you start new trades and businesses but modi ji is shutting it down on that day or partially i'm sorry i stand corrected partially disinvesting on that day modi government is raiding to launch a lic ipo nothing wrong with it it's part of disinvestment policy we don't object to it let me say it at the outset this is the biggest ipo in the history of indian stock market we also know but the intent purpose and modus operandi of government's desperation to list lic ipo despite lower valuations omission to take into account key valuation indices global uncertainties and a volatile market is deeply intriguing and highly questionable that's our only only objection lic ke bare mein kuch tatthya aaiye zarur jaan le lic ke kul assets sitambar 2021 tak 39 lakh 60 hazar crore hain ya you american dollar 526 billion और एल का स्टॉक पोर्टफोलियो पचास हजार करोड़ है क्योंकि यह तथ्य जानना जरूरी है जो मैं कह रहा हूं उसके लिए दूसरा एल के पास तीस करोड़ पॉलिसी होल्डर्स हैं 
एल की अप्रैल और सितंबर 2021 के बीच में इन्वेस्टमेंट से इनकम तीन लाख पैंतीस हजार करोड़ है एल देश के तेरह लाख चौरानवे हजार परिवारों को रोजगार देती है जिसमें बारह लाख अस्सी हजार एल एजेंट्स हैं और एक लाख चौदह हजार इंप्लॉयज हैं एल के देश में कुल तीन हजार पांच सौ बयालीस दफ्तर हैं एल दुनिया की दसवीं लार्जेस्ट इंश्योरेंस ब्रांड है दिस इज वॉट एल आई सी इज मोदी गवर्नमेंट मस्ट आंसर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वाई वॉज द एल आई सी वैल्युएशन ऑफ रूपीज ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन लैख करोड़ इन फेब्रवरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू रेड्यूस टू रूपीज सिक्स लैख करोड़ इन जस्ट टू मंथ्स आई एम रिपीटिंग द क्वेश्चन फॉर यू बिकॉज इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट Why was the LIC valuation of twelve to fourteen lakh crore in February twenty twenty two reduced to rupees six lakh crore in just two months? And there are two facets to it. Most experts have said, and I am not really an expert, but most experts now say that LIC shares are now highly undervalued. while filing the prospectus in february 2022 2 two months ago for this mega ipo lic disinvestment was aimed at 2.5 times the embedded value this is important i want to draw your kind attention in feb 2022 lic ipo was assessed at 2.5 the embedded value what is embedded value embedded value is the value is the net worth of the company if i was to just put it in one simple line in a layman's language now the eic valuation has been reduced to 1.1 times the embedded value so 2.5 times now 1.1 times only in Two months. If I look at for comparison, there is nobody as big as them, but still I will. The next next comparable company in India is SBI Life or HDFC Life Insurance or ICICI Prudential Life. These are the three companies, and let's see what is the embedded value of them. HDFC Life Insurance is trading at 3.9 times the embedded value. SBI Life is trading at 3.2 times the embedded value. ICICI Prudential Life is trading at 2.5 times the embedded value. But for LIC, you have kept the embedded value at 1.1. second facet of this question is since january february 2022 share price of lic has been pared down from about rupees 1100 per share which government said it will be able to sell to a price band now of rupees 902 to 949 per share government itself has reduced the price band by about 150 to 200 rupees per share of lic many experts have come forward to say that by this reduction in embedded value as also pairing down of the share value government or exchequer will lose 30000 crore that's what is important that's why i was explaining all this to you many many experts in the market are now saying that government is likely to lose 30000 crore second question why did modi government suddenly 
reduce the valuation of LIC as also the issue size after road shows in India and abroad. In February 2022, friends, Modi government conducted formal road shows for big ticket investors, for pension funds, for mutual fund, for investment corporations, for uh, uh, other such entities, and I'll name some. For example, like they, they did so because for like capital group, like Aberdeen Asset Management, for California University, for Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, for Government of Singapore Investment Corporation, for Canadian Pension Funds, for HSBC Mutual Fund, for Franklin Temple Fund. Idea was to pick up rupees 70,000 crore by selling a 5% stake in the company. That's important, please note. They said we'll sell 5% stake. We are doing these international and national road shows. We will pick up 70,000 crore of disinvestment target by selling 5%. This target has now been reduced to 21,000 crore by selling 3.5% stake. So both have been reduced. The disinvestment target, the money of government of India that should have come back to government of India has been reduced from about 70,000 crore to 21,000 crore. And the total sale has been reduced by 1.5%, that is 5% to 3.5%. The reason for change of heart after the road shows abroad to revise the valuation drastically has also reduced the stake sale from 5.5% to 3.5% remains unknown. We don't know. Number three, as I said right in the beginning, is Modi government ignoring LIC's key indices? High ROE, return on equity, among its global peers, other similar placed companies, nationally, internationally. Two, compound annual growth rate of the company. And three, net premium earned by the company. And four, its market share in India. These are the four denominators when you start to value a company, broadly. Let's have a look at these facets. In the financial year 2021, LIC's ROE, return on investment of shareholders, to put it very simply, was 82%. I'm repeating it. In financial year 2021, LIC's return on investment, ROE, was 82%, which is the highest in the world This is four times of its nearest competitor in the world, which is a Chinese company called Ping and Insurance. Ping and Insurance ROE was only 19.5% compared to 82% of LIC. Second facet. LIC's compound annual growth rate and I try to look at it between financial year 16 to financial year 20, is 5.1%. So LIC's compound annual growth rate over these four years is 5.1%. This makes Life Insurance Corporation number three company in the world, in the insurance sector, with this kind of growth, compound annual growth rate. Thirdly, in financial year 2021, LIC was number five in the world. I'm not even talking about India. It was number five in the world. In the net premium earned with a premium of US dollar 56 billion. 
नेक्स्ट फेसेट इन द फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2021 एलआईसी मार्केट शेयर इन द इंडियन मार्केट आफ्टर ऑल दैट्स हाउ यू वैल्यू ए कंपनी वॉज सिक्सटी फोर परसेंट ऑफ टोटल सो एल आई सी अलोन वॉज सिक्सटी फोर परसेंट ऑफ द एंटायर इंडियन मार्केट फॉर इंश्योरेंस दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ डॉमिनेंट पोजिशन इट हैज द नेक्स्ट इंश्योरेंस प्लेयर इज एस बी आई लाइफ इट्स मार्केट शेयर वॉज ओनली एट परसेंट सो सिक्सटी फोर परसेंट एट परसेंट दैट्स द स्टार्क डिफरेंस this degree of market share makes lic the number one company with a country insurance market share in the world and last facet lic is also number 6 sixth largest in the world when it comes to assets under management how many assets are under management of the company it's number 6 in the world the total value of these assets as i said is us dollar 526 billion or 39 lakh 60000 crores the reason for government undermining these key indices in arriving at the valuation is unknown again lastly number 4 why is government trying to sell lic when domestic and global financial markets are in a turmoil on account of russia ukraine war on account of a high economic volatility the secretary in charge of public sector disinvestment recently said that government is putting temporarily on hold this investments in all psus on account of market volatility then why is lic an exception to that rule is it not again part of the disinvestment process india seeks answers to these on the occasion of akshay tritiya 